Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we've got even more power coming up. It's Dansta versus X Water right next to each other in the bracket right now. Eighth and ninth place going at it. So you know it's going to be a hot, spicy match. Actually tied for points. X Water with one more win, but setting up the same amount of points. It's sure to be a slobber knocker, an amazing match. One for the books. And without further ado, here it is. We've got three matches coming. Or I should say three races in one match. Each race is 15 minutes long. And we're going by clears. So whoever gets the most amount of clears, the most amount of completed levels in the 15 minutes, takes home the W for that race. If you get a game over, you lose one clear. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Unlimited skips are available. And that ends up being a very, very important part of making it happen. Getting the W. The decision making. Got to know when to skip. When to fold them, when to hold them, you know, that whole deal. <clears throat> well, here we go, starting right off. We've got a skip on dance to side. Very long world record. Usually any time it's over, like a minute. A minute and a half is usually the breaking point for a lot of players. It doesn't look like Water actually checked the record here. But he's just going in. Rocking the sleeveless Pokemon pink shirt. It's looking great. Dansta is in the lava. In a pink room. Could just be in the lava. Maybe this is what it looks like under there. Got the colorful cam. But your classic on-off speed run, jumping a little bit too late, missing the switch. But this shouldn't be too difficult. Now, these levels at the same time can be a bit of a bait. Although this one looks pretty straightforward, definitely worth going for, especially with the 20 seconds on the clock. Surely going to be able to get this one in not too much time. You want to keep your eyes peeled, though. Sometimes on these levels, creators will make a very nice, smooth, no troll switches. Super common to see a switch that, oh, I should hit this on off switch. It's an on off speed run level. I, I, I'm gonna hit it and it doesn't work out. You actually get fooled, you get played. And X Water, some sort of puzzle here. We might, we might be in for some action. Has to get 20 coins. It's the P-Switch hit. We've got another thing going on here. Thwomp launching it into the muncher. And down the mounty hole. Danced up, getting his clear on the on-off switch level. Taking the lead and an immediate skip once again. Uber springing. There we go. Okay. It worked out for X-Water. After a while there, I was like, I don't know about this level. It's kind of, it's looking a little bit scary. Time consuming, but he makes it work. Damage boost on dance side, moving along. Looks like we've got a nice little auto scroller going on. But tying it up. One to one. Okay, and just getting consumed by the bullet bills, an immediate skip from Dance Style. I think maybe in that situation you have to find like that sweet spot to hit the bullet bill but not get hit by the upper one. But another speed run, 20 second speed run for Dance Style. He is just getting all of them, and we've got a, another participant in the room. X Water juggling real life with Mario Maker and doing it pretty well, I must say. And a very nice first try from Dansta. Keeping it going. X Water swimming through. We got some lava. Nice, nice contrast. Swimming through the lava. You got the fish coming through as well. Just got to avoid the enemies. That lava's coming up. 
as far as I know, there's not a way to check if, if the lava is going to go back down. Like if it's a current or if it's just going to keep rising. And it looks like X water might just be falling into this water. Yeah. <laughs> Skipping it as he dies. Losing a life. Couple of shells plus some stuff. Actually crazy that, I mean, I think, I swear I've seen X-Water check times before, but maybe abandoning the strategy, not interested. Maybe trying to do a no skip type thing, but definitely did skip. So a pretty technical double shell jump going on X-Water side. And dance stuff falling into the pit. But I, I, I don't know. I, I can't really support the not checking the times, the clears on X water side, just because it's, it's so important. I mean, you don't know if you're going to be here for five minutes. You don't know if you're going to be here for 30 seconds. I mean, there could be a part of it that's fun just to, you know, kind of go with it, go with the flow. We've got a don't look right level on X water side. Oh, okay. Ooh, looking right and just barely avoiding a muncher. Okay. And pausing it is a two and a half minute clear. And that is exactly why you want to check to see what you're working with. Maybe now he's he will pause. We'll see. Maybe. Nope. An underwater level for Dansta. Okay. All right, checking it. Here we go. We we are we are moving along. A very worthy level. 29 seconds, of course. Gonna take that. Clear already in sight. Ooh, an Onyx dev gifted sub. This man gets his Onyx. Thank you very much. Ghani. For the sub. Very much appreciated. Of course, all the subs, donations, bits, whatever it may be. GSA will be giving back and putting those a little bit back into the prize pools for these players that work so hard, put the time in, not only for Super Mario Maker 2, but of course our leagues for Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario 64, Celeste. That's why getting pretty quick clear. Making it happen. Bringing it back. We've got a race, ladies and gentlemen, two to two. Dance actually had a great start. A couple of really nice early clears, but struggling to find a third one. Oh, zooming around. What do you mean, Vizzy? Asking how does Super Mario Maker 2 affect the point values? I would like to answer your question, but I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Wow, okay. Another quick one from X-Water. Piecing it together very nicely and now taking the lead over Dansta. The turnaround of the year. Nice time in on these on-off presses from Dansta. Yeah, for the money that goes back into the prize pools, it is split evenly between the games. Ryoko. Yes, these runners have played Super Mario Maker 1. How do you think they're so good at the game, man? Super important. Having that knowledge from how people go about creating levels in Super Mario Maker 1, 100 man, working through that, understanding, okay, is this garbage? Is there a hidden block out here? They've already developed those senses a bit, but now sharpening it in the lead. And another clear for X-Water, chunking through them. 
The man is a monster. All casual. Now danced on one of the classic. Cannot touch the ground after leaving. Oh, hitting the music note and he's out. I respect that. Those levels can be extremely finicky. Even the very slight, slightest tap up in the air and you will not be able to complete that objective. All right, and we've got a bit of a speed run here from X Water. Oh, Meows are coming to say hello, headbutt to the face, and Dance are sliding down into the lava. Sucked up in the soup. Some Luigi soup. But there's stars on the other side. They look good, they look juicy. Knocking every enemy out in sight. And X-Water finally skipping. Gave, gave it a reasonable amount of time. He, he gave it a good try. Oh, Dance to find himself over there. And again with the skip. And now time is ticking. At this point, you're like, man, I need to get it clear. And the pressure's on your, your senses. Or, or, or at least your requirements, I would say, for skipping. They get different. You know, depending on the situation, a whole bunch of effects on X-Water's side. Creator having a lot of fun, a bunch of happy faces. All right, and now we are waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And next water get into the door. The effects are still coming through, but taking a death there. It's sticking with this level. Water in a pretty good position right now. Dance to, I, I, I wouldn't say it's over quite yet, but if he dies on this level, it's going to be pretty rough. Or, or if he messes up this clear condition. Has to be Super Luigi. Can't take a hit. Make quick work of Boom Boom, and once again, we are waiting on X Water's side. But must have a plan. He came back. He's got an idea of what he needs to do. Again, and the skip. Hold on, folks. Hold your horses. Hold your sheep. Hold your chicken. Hold everything that you possibly can. It is not over yet. Dance to getting himself a clear on the left side. Three to four. Now he will need to clutch it out, but two minutes, 45 seconds. This is enough time for even a couple skips to find a speedrun level. Dance is actually did have a first try clear on a speedrun earlier. Yeah, but this is a bit longer and now needing the skip. We're hoping. We're hoping for something nice to come his way. Next water working on his fifth clear. And another skip now. Two minutes left for Dance to still have some time. I mean, he, he could realistically still skip three or four times. But at that point, you, you get to a point where it's like it just doesn't make sense to skip anymore. You just got to go with what you got. Okay, hold on. This is a two-second clear. Thinking about it. And not going for... Oh, hold on. He's thinking. He's starting over. Okay, now it looks to me like he just needs a very good momentum single jump twirl in the air to get to the flag. That's what it looks like to me. This is exactly what he needs. Building up that momentum. Pacing back and forth. Charging up. Clipping on the wall, though, but that's the right idea. This is exactly what he needs to tie it right back up and crazy race one. But X Water well on his way to getting a fifth clear. Oh, getting caught on it. I feel like this is the move though. There's no reason to skip. I mean, sure you could, but at that point you're really putting it 
in the hands of RNG and X Water gets a clear, and with that, that might be what seals it. Just barely touching the corner, dancer decided to skip, and that is going to be race number one in X Water's favor. But pretty good showing for both players. You know, I was actually, I thought that this was just going to be like, when I saw X Water not checking times on the on the levels at first, I was like, okay, that's uh, that's definitely a strategy. But and I was like, okay, this is gonna work out. But started checking the times, started picking up some clears, and Danson was looking so strong at the beginning, but getting caught up on a couple levels, not able to find the clears that he so desperately wanted. Yeah, we are also sitting at one life. It's it's scary. <laughs> And that, with that, gets the game over. Rest in peace. A minus one, ultimately finishing at two to five. GG's. That is true, Chick. If it is a level where your timer's at 20 seconds, 40 seconds, even 90 seconds, you don't, you don't have to. But it can still help to give a good idea. You know, let's let's say it's like a 90 second level. Or even like a 20 second level, right? But you pause and you see, oh, the world record's three seconds. It's four seconds. Could be letting you know there there is a dev door, there is a dev pipe, a dev block. Something is amiss. There's evil afoot. Yes, maximum color. They do. When asking, do they know each other's scores? This race, in fact, is a pre-recorded one, and both these players in a call, in a DM, keeping each other updated so that they know, okay, is it a tiebreaker or not? Do I keep going? To go. But with that, here we go, getting right into race two. Zombie. From Germany, short and sweet, reach all... Grab all three 50 coins. And again, Dance is starting right off with a quick level. 20 second speed run. Ooh. An immediate skip from X Water, but a speed run auto scroll. Now, those words don't really compute with me personally, but I'm interested to see. 34 second world record. He's interested. 50 coins already to his name. Oh, Dance getting set back. Got to be very careful. A couple tight jumps there. Next water going flying and the skip. Not interested. Dance is taking his time a little bit. We don't know how tight this is. Sometimes you get levels that have no wiggle room whatsoever. He still has five seconds left. And okay, ample amount of time. Dance is getting that first clear. And X Water still looking for a suitable level. Another skip. <laughs> Pretty good. In a minute and a half, I think anything within like two minutes is, is super good for getting your first clear. It kind of breaks the ice a bit sometimes too for, for players. It can be kind of tense. Like, oh man, I need at least a clear. Let's go, get it going. X Water needs to assassinate 19 piranha plants and definitely wants to keep his meow power up, keep the cat bell. Luckily, it looks like there is a power up in every little portion of this. Nicely portioned out. Little arenas, if you will. Pseudo auto scroller from Dance does sliding on down. Gotta watch out for these munchers. Doesn't look too bad. Just gotta be patient. All right, really cool stuff on X Water's side, getting sent into a room full of spikes and interestingly sticking with it. Now I think this is a defining moment. This this really is like where you see the differences between players in the league. You get trolled. You have you have two decisions. You keep going, you're like, ah, nah, you know, okay, now I know the troll's there, I won't get trolled again. 
and then you have the skip. And honestly, it's hard to, there's, I don't think there's like one consistent way. You kind of feel it out level by level. This level doesn't seem to be necessarily a troll level. Like, yes, that was a troll, but the general theme of the level seems pretty consistent. And we'll see Dance to find himself another clear as well, too, to his name. Xwater still looking for his first clear. One more piranha plant somewhere. Searching around, can't find anything, and obviously hindsight is 2020. Should have just skipped, you know, when you saw the first troll, but that is the way that it goes. Definitely a, a speedrun hands moment. GSA hands. Still out here searching, but I mean, this is sort of what happened in race one. X Water did, in fact, win the first race, and it looked a lot like this. He wasn't able to find anything in the first couple minutes, first four or five minutes. Danced to had a couple quick clears to his name, but consistency is important. If you get if you get caught up on a level, or you easily get tilted, you know, get upset over what's going on, can't focus or concentrate, that will very quickly. Take your lives, take your time. You gotta work with the levels. Next one, we're thinking about what he wants to do about this. Choosing the door. Could be the right move. We've got a P switch. Okay. Interesting. I was like 90% sure he was gonna go down and get that flame power up, and then it was just gonna be a troll. Having to wait out the key switch a bit here, though. But that is clear. X Water finding it. But Dansta has the pole on screen. Picking up these red coins, although he is on a timer. 30 seconds left. And that is a lot of red coins to get. We'll see. Very nice X Water getting it going. First clear. Could this be the start of something magical? I don't know. A Builder Mario, 18 seconds left on the clock for Dance to pick it up a couple quick red coins. This is all of them that he needs. Might just be enough time. 10 seconds left to get back to the key door. I can't look. And time to spare. Two seconds left. Dance to get in the clear. Gotta be feeling good about that one. Very close. X Water. Learning from his first mistake. You really can't know. With with this with that sort of death, it's just like you die and then you're like, okay. I won't die again, but yes, I die. Okay, here we go. And again, a moment, a moment where you're like, alright, you fell into a soft lock. Is this worth continuing? X Water thinks so. It's, it is a 27 second world record, I'll give it to him. It, this could very well be worth it, but obviously can't fall into a hole. You're not gonna be safe in any sort of pit in this level. You'd probably get soft locked. Dance taking two quick deaths here. And going for the skip, yeah. A bit messy in X Water. Also, deciding to hit that skip button, but still plenty of time left. Eight minutes on the clock. Mario Note 1. We've got a nice music level. Definitely what you want to see during a match. No clear. Pulling the slade and going for it. Almost dying to that Goomba. That was a little bit scary, but no fear. shell always a good idea to grab a shell if you can you know get a spare shell in your possession it's a good idea very handy oh 
getting caught by the Goombrat, and that's a skip from Dan Stuff. We were hopping around with Goombas. It's the key, though. The music note, like, layering the platforms. Wow, okay, and paying off big time, getting the bonus one up as well. X-Water taking the investment risk on the no-clear music level, but it pays off. Pretty quick clear. And now two to his name. Catching up on Dansta, very reminiscent of race one. Dansta having a hard time closing out these races. Six and a half minutes left. He still has time to prove himself. Still has time to get a clear 12 second world record. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> Once again, one of these levels where you're, you have a moment and you're like, okay, that was expert. I mean, I guess. Maybe dance to look at, making it look super easy. But I guess that was just a huge oversight. Wiggler's coming from the rooftop. X Water is out of there. Four clears for dance to now. Putting X Water in a bit of a tough position, but two clears in six minutes, definitely not unrealistic. However, dance to, of course, still has opportunities to make more clears happen. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A little bit violent, but I'll take it. But Dansta will not be taking it. Two minute 53. No way, Jose. Both players taking a death. X Water exploring. There's got to be some sort of power up. Here we go. Okay. Maybe not. We've got. He could use the shells to bounce on them. What on earth is this? <laughs> this is some garbage. All right. Yeah. Just get it off the screen, please. I can't look anymore. Dansta at five clears now and looking like he's going to push it to a 1 1 situation. Not going to give up the win that easily. X Water's gonna need to kick it into high gear. Again, Dansa, it's, he's getting a lot of very short levels. 14 second, catching the spike though. But he's actually surprisingly pretty liberal with the skips on these shorter levels. He's he doesn't get too distracted by oh it's, oh my goodness it's 14 seconds. I'm going to do it. I'm going to clear it. Even if I die like 10 times. It doesn't usually end up happening. He's he's very good at keeping those emotions at bay. Keeping those primal, instinctual urges that every man feels when they see those juicy, juicy world record times. It's discipline. And it's very respectable. But working through a bit of a maze. Does find a checkpoint, though, so this has got to be the way to go. Chat, perhaps, you know, the commentator perhaps going over the, the deep end there in the commentary booth. It's, it is a little bit hot in here, I will admit. The fumes get into the commentator's brain, trying to come up with any sort of excuse for his actions. But three clears on X Water's side. Dance to find yet another one with three minutes left. But, wait, did Dancer really just sit at the pause screen? I'm pretty sure he just sat there for a second. Basking in his six clears, feeling himself. The confidence is real. I mean, the math. We've got the, the analysts in the back, the statistics, you know, double checking, reworking, verification process. It's probably not happening. It is looking like it is going to dance the side here in race two, which will make for a even more exciting race three. Who will get the bonus point? Again, both these players sitting both at eight points. In the league, I mean, after this race, probably both be sitting at nine. But they're at the edge of the bracket. X water, take it and fall. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Ooh, the timing. It's a little tight, but X Water's sticking through. Yeah, it's extremely pink on Dance to Side. It makes you wonder. Chat wondering how, how exactly this is working out. I would also like to know. Unfortunately, we won't be able to have an interview, but that, that would be my first question for you, chat. How is it so pink? The question everybody's wondering. But back to the gameplay. 30 second world record for Dansta. Trying to just pad up that clear average. Get those stats up. We are tracking it. We are keeping track. We're getting hit by the Meowser. Pretty fun little level. I, I, I like these the sky levels. The falling platforms. You know, a very clear, consistent theme. You just gotta have the right timing. Keep an eye out. But X Water is on a roll. Clear in sight. And taking it home, getting himself a fourth. Clear. About 40 seconds left on the clock. Dance Duck could. Uh, Going for the skip. 35 seconds. Will he get another maybe two second level? I wanted to see him clear that one. He had the, in race one that one like two second level where he had to do the very precise jump twirl to the flagpole. But it was a bit too precise. But we are riding the thwomp. I feel like that umbrella doesn't support, you know, it doesn't really make sense. I feel like he would still be going pretty fast. I don't think that umbrella would be doing a whole lot, but Dance is taking a fall. Looks like he had to be riding. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what was meant to happen there, but of course, it is now over. The timer's coming to a stop. 15 minutes is up. Race three. On its way. Commentator delving into the game. Not really making sense, but... I mean, that's kind of the point. We're in the fantasy land. Getting nitpicky here in the commentary booth. No one's really sure why. Everyone kind of confused. Third person commentary is in full force. When left alone in the booth, going insane. Watching live on Twitch TV, a man's insanity coming to fruition. But luckily, race three has now started. We can focus on the gameplay once again. It's getting pretty existential there. But here we go. X water right off the bat, not checking the clear. And a skip. Okay. Okay. Dance is not even bothering, though. An immediate skip. Ooh, pulling the P switch out of the lava. But a nine second world record. Okay, two very, very short levels for both players. But who's going to figure it out first? A lot of jumping flame balls. The dance is side. Oh, he was on a streak. So close. Just getting caught. Barely. X Water bouncing on these Goombas. But cannot bounce on a P-Switch. Yeah, excuse me. Not not a skip from Dance to Uber Springing. I know I'm not saying that right. Okay, actually, never mind. I mean, you can hit the P-Switch. No problem. It's hard to tell if it makes it any easier. But the, there it is. In sight for X Water. A very fast first clear. Switching. Switching it up. Usually in you know race one, race two, Dance was able to find his first clear. But. Oh, Hammer Bro says no. A hammer to the face. Getting right to the end. Dance not happy about that at all. Already at 10 lives. They are trickling down. Yeah, that one I felt as well, deep to the core. That was an extremely huge hammer and going low. You know, typically the saying is when someone goes low, you go high, but obviously the hammer bro going high, you're gonna have to go low. You don't wanna challenge the hammer bro when you don't have any sort of damage boost or anything like that. Unpredictable. The man's got, a, the hammers are strong. x are getting tapped by the Buzzy Beetle. We are in the air, riding through the airship. We're going to Japan on Dance Decide. Let's see what Japan has got in store for us today. 
Wait, did I just see that right? Was that what? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, 21 second world record. Some sort of puzzle. And Dansta is not interested at all in exploring. Some players have that. There's actually, we have seen some players go for the puzzles and have it pay off heavily. You know, sometimes you just kind of mess around, guess until something happens, and that can work. Or you could be caught on the same puzzle for a minute. But I think, I, I would say they're at least worth giving a shot. You know, just explore at least, give it like 10 seconds or so. Dance to not wanting to do the trick shots. Not today, he's retired. He's done with those. They're in the past. X Water, two clears to his name. We are flying here in race three. Both players activating their true power. And an immediate skip from X Water. Checking it out. 40 seconds. See some booze. They're kind of scary. Understandable. Don't want to deal with that. Not a fan of ghosts. Ooh, tight jump from Dansta. A lot of spikes. A lot of saws. Make it super quick work, though. Not hesitating whatsoever. Dansta in a flow state. But now... Wait, actually, what? No clear. No world record for this level. But he's sticking with it. Could be, the, could be the right move. We've seen it pay off, but we've definitely seen it uh, be a very bad decision. But either way, I mean, when skips are unlimited, you can always skip. No! Getting caught by the side of the piranha plant. I, I feel like the pole was so close at that point. But just barely getting caught. Deciding to skip a roo, spin to win from America. Once again, dance to in Japan. Exploring. And it doesn't look like you can make that jump. Might be extremely tight, but definitely can Z jump on the thwomp. Ride it up. A typical strap we see all the time. Dance to getting bullied out of nowhere. Lunch money removed from his pocket. He's gonna buy himself a nice burger with that, but unfortunately now going to be starving. That's just life. x has got a couple decisions he can make here. There is an arrow pointing down, but, you know, arrows... Um, okay. The creator was ready for that, but... x has got a helmet. A shelmet, more accurately. Flying a little bit lower. Here we go. Okay. All right. Very nice adjustment from X-Water. Going for the flying anyway. Just bring it a little bit lower. Um... Okay. Okay, this is possible. And another Uber springing on Dance to side. Three clears to X Water's name. Looking very good here in race three. On some great pace. Yeah, 140. Immediate skip. Oh, the betrayal on the red shell. He played himself. You hate to see it. To the face. Fortunately, right at the start of the level, so not not too big of a deal. But choosing not to, to grab the shell, bring it with him. Okay, and that was very quick. Plenty of Koopas to kill. We're done with that noise. Equipped with the shell. Tossing it. Stairway to heaven. Okay, dropping on down. Even with the ground pound stalls from Dance to not able to avoid the spike and just having a really hard time finding a suitable level, I would say he Dance is almost on the edge of skipping too much and and not like okay, Lil Curbs for example is a player who skips so much. It's almost it's it's almost insane. Fourth clear by the way for X Water, putting himself even further in the lead. You know, I'm talking about like at the at the beginning of the level, but Dansta will, at least in, in this race thus far, get halfway through and die and then immediately skip. You know, won't give it another try. And sometimes it's worth going for that second, third try. Because, I mean, if you aren't going for them at all, you're not going to be finding any clears. But Goalpost is in sight and a very... Very long timer. Oh, getting squished. That is very tight timing here. 
for Dansta. Well, the way it works, C-Scrub, asking how long do I have to play Golf Clash to earn a sub uh, for those who are involved with the Onyx thing? You get your Onyx. Oh, nice move from Dansta going around the top. Big brain plays. Okay, find himself a clear. Two to four. He's bringing it back. Seven minutes. What's going on? Basically, there's quests. And then you, if you do the quests for the game, this being Golf Clash, you'll get like a set of Onyx. But once all the quests are done, you can no longer get Onyx from that game. And then instead you have to do like the daily check-ins. But periodically we switch the game and then there are different quests for different games. But yes, if, if you do the quests, check it in daily, you'll get there. I'm, I'm at about 490 Onyx. I'm very close to getting my free sub. X Water taking a death, the dance stuff taking a skip. IPK did lose a set. It was actually crazy. I would highly recommend that match. IPK versus Slade. I commented that one as well. That just happened, and that was super close. Slade has been bringing the heat each week, improving more and more, getting the hang of the format. You know, so it, it, we definitely saw that first week and those first couple weeks. Some players, you know, it, it's it's like a it's an ego check in a way because you'll get the levels inevitably where you're like, oh, I can clear this, and then it's not about. It's not about, oh, you get that one clear. It's about how many clears can you get. And at this level, I mean, yes, I'm sure you can clear it, but if it's going to take you 10 deaths, not the best decision. But on and off switch, Dance is not interested in the platforms, just wall jump into victory. <laughs> in a perpetual state of bouncing back and forth, there we go, finding his way in. But X Water gets another clear. Not letting down. The pressure is on. Foot on Dansta's throat. I hate to get violent, but I'm just... I'm calling it how I see it, folks. X-Water is in the driver's seat. The man is flying down the highway. 90 miles an hour. Dansta trying to catch up. Collect the keys, kill the bosses. Have not seen this before. Very innovative. And no damage boost. And immediately the skip. Yeah, I, I support that skip. In a case like that, where you just know that it's going to take a lot of time no matter what, it's not really about, oh, do I have the tech? It's just about, can I make it through these bosses? Two lives left for Dance to a very scary situation. Water learning, having to play dead through these saws. Doing a very nice job. Okay. We, we, we don't see these levels very often, but they're they're definitely appreciated. Had, had the one little slip up right away, but now he's in dry bones mode. He is the dry bone. And Dance to find himself a clear three to five. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Three minutes, 40 seconds left. And with how many fast levels Dance has been getting, certainly possible. Trying to find his way over the saw X water. Doing just that. But this level's got to be coming to a close at some point. Has made some pretty good progress. We are holding right, and it is very exciting. Hopping around, Uber springing forward, and another clear, and that that might be the ticket, ladies and gentlemen. That might just be it. A one-way ticket to Winnersville. Oh my goodness! The pulverizers are here to say hello. Dance to not open to conversation. Being antisocial with the pulverizers. Uh, I don't blame him. It's... Pretty wise. Oh, barely getting caught. And a skip. 
X water. Thinking about it, hesitating, but yes, skipping. Two and a half minutes left, and it's definitely looking like the man is going to bring home the set. The bonus point going to be in his possession. But just maybe, maybe, just maybe, Dansta could get in one of these cars and just boost all the way to six skips. But he's going to have to make it through all of these cars. Man, these oh, the physics on the cars are so annoying. It's just, they're so clunky. Dancer slipping past the door, skip. See, like that skip right there. I, I, that's the kind of skip that I don't think I would see usually. Like, it's, it's not a skip I'm expecting to see. You know, it's very common to see at least a second try or a third try, but dance has been rigorously going on these one try runs, and if it doesn't happen, he just goes forward, which, in a way, I can see how it's a good strategy for not really getting tilted too much because I feel like the way that players do get tilted or the way that a level really affects your focus or concentration is it gets under your skin. You're like, oh man, this this boo, this meowser just keeps slapping me around. These fireballs keep coming in my face. But if you just have one slip up and then skip, I mean uber springing, then it's like you're out of there. You know, you don't have too much of a personal attachment. So I can I can sort of understand but getting the clear now, four to seven, 50 seconds left on the clock. X water has gone full water mode. He is flowing effortlessly, gushing, I might even say. But yeah, that is that is going to be the match, I do believe. And just skipping along. Pretty good turnaround. Honestly, at the beginning of this, I was like, I, I, I was not really believing in it. I thought that the way that X-Water was going about it, not even checking the clear times on the levels, I thought he was surely doomed. And the way that Danster was clearing levels. But he brought it out. He did indeed. Very nice. Taking it home for Canada. And hanging out. X-Water having some fun. Cheeky little soft lock. Ocean man, thank you very much. <laughs> and that'll be that. Takes the second win. Three points to his name, one to Dansta's name. And that's going to push X Water above Dansta in the standings. So, yeah, that will be that. We will, of course, have no interviews. A pre recorded match from X Water and Dansta. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be up next the match that I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Big John versus Ryukar coming up next. It's going to be crazy. Thank you so much, and we'll be back shortly.